your best sipping whiskey. I'm not here for that, miss. Crazy Mexicans. I'm tired of this shit. Weather set for the change again soon. I can feel it. That's right. No need for that, partner. Who did? He's missing. He's only a youngster. My boy is missing. Where? Who took him? Them people in the hills. Them hills near Hanging Rock. They took him. Can't the police force help you? No. They can't even help themselves. Please, sir. My son is missing. I need your help. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. This will fetch a good price. here you want map I retire here take map you earn it I'll happily take this off your hands my friend
No, thank you, my dear. We ain't gonna maintain our regional supplies. Unless you wanna start working for pepper guns, we'll keep the guns as far as possible from the governor's mansion. You want a good time? Not me, my dear. Hello, 731. What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest. And they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. 
Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. And it'd be my pleasure. I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of vigilante? You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight-lipped son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Well, ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty person last time, if I remember correctly. Simmer down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. I'll be honest with you, Marson. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. Well, what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash, taming a wild land. Not far now. Eyes open, boys. Everybody dismount. Idiot. Follow me. Whoa. Let's move up the canyon towards the fort. Be ready, boys. We're probably going to be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. Come on, stop lagging behind.
Someone might as well have this. See if there's any spare ammo in that camp. Sorry about this, partner. open. I saw a couple of snipers across the way. Eyes up! Sniper! Follow me! Tell the ballers to give themselves up or we'll kill every last one of you! Nice shot! Jesus, well! There's one of them. as any. Gather around and listen up. Let's try to sneak up on them. The closer we are, the less chance they have of making a run for it.
Commander, are you here? Put down your gun and surrender! Are you gonna shoot any of these rustlers, boy? Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. You say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was due in town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves. And the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. Just a little something for my troubles.
Let's go. Still. <laughs> Pleasure to help. This is a messy. Oh, Lord, this is nasty. Sorry, mister. Wow, I was talking to some Blackwater fellas last night. Seemed kind of sneaky. How are you, friend? I'm sure you'll find something you like here. I hear the Blackwater ledger. Saw print about a big fire. In nice here. to see you.
another satisfied customer. Sure, I don't mind a little dickering. Thanks for the visit. I must tell you, a man walked up to me the other day and he said, well, I can't even repeat it. Spread the word. Nice doing business with you. You know where we are next time you need something. If you need something, I'm sure. Hello there. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. Uh, I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that, I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. Call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true, especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute, and he was her, well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man, in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Ah, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure, point me in the right direction. Right, 
Are you ready to learn how to herd some cows? Go! Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're... they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's the flower. There we go. That's one. You stink. This is dirty. Well, howdy. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? Well, it'd be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh. Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth? Uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. No. Can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. So, man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old coot that owns a place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper tie. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper tie for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water Build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs>
his first fail. I'm afraid you might. Last still. <laughs> This is a messy one. Let's make this quick. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. You need help? Mister, you alive? Fuck a fuck. God damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. Oh. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Oh. 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 Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? The closest doctor is in Armadillo. What is your name, friend? John Marston. Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse How me. How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, Fred. The Pollard twins, Walton gang. I know who you are. Good Lord! It's those scoundrels once again. You're killing me! The back of the damn wall! <laughs> Again, a victim of my own success. They seem a man in a well cut suit, and this happens. Do you know who they were? No idea. I'm not the kind of man who has enemies. You do now. I give so much, and still they take. We live in an uncivilized and graceless world, friend. Our maker is a funny sense of humor sometimes. Still, at least I met you, the good Samaritan in wolf's clothes. Look out! Now what, mister? I knew this wasn't my time. He has a greater purpose for me. There's him and go! Master John! Master! Leave some cake for me, Pa! Yeah, I embrace you. For Christ's sakes, man, you're gonna be fine. Thank We're nearly you there. Into your arms. This is it. You're gonna make it. Where the devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe, you'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. 
Uh, Jesus! But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. Fred, well, you surely won't regret a purchase. Appreciate it. Howdy there. Huh. Now, stay safe. Darn newcomers. Any artillery need can be missed. Parker. Thank you. They're jumping heads like jackrabbits on springs.
Ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? You've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! Come on! Let's hit the breeze, boys. How are the McFarlands, John? They're holding on, but that ranch is in trouble. But we dealt with the wrestler problem. For now, yes. But that ain't enough. They got greater forces working against them. Drew's a rancher, not a businessman. Railroads, motor cars, telephones. Opening a world of new opportunity, apparently. Try telling that to a farmer with no head for business. Or a blacksmith whose customers can buy tools for half the price out of a Spalding's catalog. Giving a man too many options will make him unhappy. Taking too many away will force him to do things he shouldn't. It's wrong to assume change is always good. What happened to that girl you was riding herd on a while back, Eli? Look, vultures. Might just be a dead critter. Marston, take a look. Eli, you too. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. your weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just born plain evil. I think it's this land that makes the men, as much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're born. At least that's how I see it. Who could have done such a thing? Any number of people. Especially now the word's out we're cleaning up the county. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. Man gets more evil when he's running scared. Poor vultures! This don't look so good! God damn it! Come on, let's take a look. There, more dead bodies. And the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on! Come! Come on, let's ride! They kinda got too far. Sons of bitches! Didn't you once run a gang of outlaw, Marston? Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean? You know as well as I do, Marshal. One way or another, some men gotta die. Can't see a soul anywhere. This ain't right. Split up and search the area. John, you check the buildings in the barn. Whoa there. It's clear, Marshal.
There's no good reason for that to be boarded up. Come on, John. Shoot that door open. Sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> friend. Enjoy this! You're gonna oh be all right. God. Head for the shed in the back as soon as it looks clear. Thank you. I was convinced I was dead. Shed when the coast is clear. There'll be a deputy waiting for you. They did unspeakable things to me. Don't think you'll be wanting this no more, friend. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. Hellfire! You folk eat men. 
You ain't nothing! You're just a man on a government payroll taking money that the rest of us have to pay for with our lives! Yeah. What is wrong with this country? Not up, men! The man that kills the boss of that bunch gets fifty dollars! It ain't about the money, Marshal! These are people's lives! People's homes! Man up, boy! We gotta get after those bandits! Alright, let's find those bastards! Come! Marshal? What? Williamson's men? Maybe. Oh, this sure looks like their handiwork. Makes sense if they took this road. Come on, Marshal. This might be our chance. What's your beef with Williamson anyway, Marshal? Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell are you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. It was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bear in mind, he's left... Wait, who's that up there? You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now! Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> You know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Our business is done here, fellas. Hey, look what I got here. <laughs> There's something that you're still breathing. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Give. <laughs> oh. Norman Deke. <laughs> Fuck. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. 
Norman here is gonna help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. <laughs> Fuck you! <coughs> Hog time. Let's get him to jail. for it, ain't you? That's one. something searching around about for a few plants I'm light on. Here's the deal. Whichever one of us gets back here first with the right plants wins on the bet. Sure. I'll give it a try. There you are. Oh, 
I'll be having that. Everything all right, madam? It's Miss. Oh. Oh, let me look at you. My gentleman caller. You remind me of my Peter. Have you seen him? I don't think so. Where is that man? We'll be late for the ceremony. He must still be at the saloon in Armadillo, talking to the musicians. He's such a fine man. Must be making things right for me, as usual. Well, I gotta get going, ma'am. I'm sure your Peter will be just fine. Wait, I beg you. Would you possibly go fetch him for me? This was meant to be my perfect day. Please, sir. Something must have happened. I can't bear it. So you want me to go find your Peter so you can have a perfect day? Yes, please, sir. I'll see what I can do. Oh.
long as I don't die, I'll quit this job in five summer's time. <laughs> Mister, <laughs> she's gone. Who is? My wife, she's gone. <laughs> she went out picking mushrooms in the hills near Hanging Rock and they got her. The stories are true. <laughs> What the police do about it? <laughs> oh, about as much as you'd expect. <laughs> Made me fill out a form. Beryl ain't strong, but she's a good girl. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, I don't take requests, mister. I'm looking for a man. Name's Peter. Fellow's meant to get married today. Seen him around? Who? Peter, is what she said. <laughs> you ain't after no Pete Turner, are you? For all I know. Where can I find him? Well, my memory escapes me when not properly stimulated. Then let's see if we can refresh it. Five dollars will do. Or you could run a little errand for me. What do you need done? It's my wife. She packed her things this morning and left me. The dumb wench is still at the freight station waiting for the stagecoach. If you could convince her to take me back. Her name's Rose. I guess I'll go have a talk with her. Now, well, you'll need more than talk with that bitch. You best go now. That stagecoach will be leaving soon. Are you lonely? No, thanks. Those days are over. Here. Truth is, Pete Turner ain't been an armadillo for near on 20 years now. Kind of a queer fella and all. Wasn't here every night. Sure as the moon in the sky. What happened to him? Well, <laughs> what happens to all of us? I reckon you'll find him at Odd Fellow's Rest. Yeah, that's where he'd be, I guess. I told him I wasn't buying any land until I... Why don't you skedaddle now, mister? I told you all I know.
Let's go. Howdy, miss. Uh, what are you doing out here? Um, I'm thinking. Have I seen you before? Oh, uh, yes, I think so. On the train from Blackwater, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, you were talking with the preacher. Yes, sir, I was. I don't know if it's so safe out here, miss. Oh, uh, Jenny. You can call me Jenny. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, I'm safe because I, I have faith. So uh, faith can move mountains. That's the whole point. You're trying to move a mountain? Oh, no. Uh, I can't do anything. But with faith, I can achieve great things. I know that. I know it. You want me to take you back into town, ma'am? You seem kind of unwell. Oh, I, I get such clarity out here. I see things purely. The world is so beautiful. And full of things that'll kill you. <laughs> including illness. Nothing's gonna kill me, sir. Well, take care then. Miss Jenny. <coughs> Miss Jenny. Don't look like the Almighty's much inclined to help you out here. I was kind of worried about you, so I brought you some medicine. Oh, oh heavens. Oh, praise you, Lord. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> Excuse me? You see, it was only through his will that you were ordered to save me. Tell me, <coughs> were there angels in your vision? Jenny, uh, can I take you back into town? Praise you, Savior. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> Will you come with me? Oh, I'm fine here, mister. I, I'm in heaven. <coughs> heaven. <coughs>
Let's go! There we go. That's one. Oh, Lord. This is nasty. Make this quick. Howdy. Tough one, ain't you? This is dirty. This is private property. Howdy, friend. I didn't know anyone lived out here. Whoa! Now you can't rob the place now, can you? Now get! Friendly old bastard, ain't you? I don't need me no friends, friend. We all need friends, old timer. We die alone, but we live among men. You know, I was interested in moving out this way with my family. Would you be willing to sell me a parcel of land? We wouldn't even have to speak or nothing. Land's too dry for farming. Bandits run all the cattle off. Why you want this land? I guess I just like the scenery. Well, I don't know. Maybe for $200 I could give you the deed to this land, find myself a place up in Blackwater. Although I never could stand the people down there. No, sir. $200, partner. Take it or leave it. Why don't you come back when you got the money? Make up your mind. I ain't got all day. Yeah!
That's what I wanted. Please, I'm desperate or I wouldn't ask. Give me a ride. Actually, I got a better idea. See you around, fool. Get back here, you son of a bitch! got on you, friend. Let's go! Come on, let's get this over with. Welcomes you. Hey, partner. Good to have some My products are of the finest quality. We're going to stop talking and start drinking. I knew she was a soil dove. I'll be honest, I'm kind of overstocked at the moment, sir. A fine choice. Here's what? 
why if she don't stop going. I think Miss Largent told me the same thing. Hey, mister. There you go. Southwestern Railroad says more trains coming through. Hello there. Hi, how you doing? How you doing? Flash you. So long. Whatever your purpose, they'll work. Steer clear of Pleasant's house if I were you. Careful! Uh, not a good move, buddy. Hey, shooter, get your ass over here! How about I make you famous? All you gotta do is agree to a duel. I'm faster and tougher than any of you. Sure, it's your funeral. Come on! 
on, Dale! It's over!
found that no good piece of dirt. Thank you. Okay. 